Welcome to the course of marketing. In today's lecture, we are going to cover the elements of new product development or marketing of an existing product taken to different levels, the channels of distribution, a very another important part of marketing. And then of course, like after channels of distribution, then we will go into some kind of a promotional strategies that the marketers need to understand. Of course, like for many small to medium-sized businesses or to prospective entrepreneurs and small businesses, the selection of a right product which will bring or which will generate lots of revenues to the organization has been and is, of course, a real challenge into that area. Many times what happens is that people, when they start any kind of small business, they normally pick up an existing business. For example, in the service industry, it has been very common that people start their own accounting practice, their own medical practice, or they start a lab, or they start an art gallery, or they start a daycare center, the only thing is that like what new marketing strategies they have to bring in so that uh, their competitors who have already been in the market may not hurt their marketing revenues or their prospective business success chances be challenged by the competitors. On the other side of course like uh, in today's competitive world uh, for a small business or for a medium-sized business, it has been extremely challenging to come up with an innovative product. Yes, of course, when you have an innovative product, then marketing that product may not be as, as challenging because no other product exists into that area. But what is happening is, in today's business world, is that mostly those products who are already in the market uh, they, are, they are experiencing some kind of either change or modification uh, or alteration and every year in fact marketers they come up with these new ideas. Auto industry in America or the worldwide in fact has experienced uh, this particular element for the last many 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 years that every year uh, they introduce the same brand or the same model of the car but the only thing they do is they make certain changes or they made certain modifications. So if you keep this thing in your mind that yes, uh, by addressing a, a product model, you are going to come up with a new idea of manufacturing a product with a simple modification or by an, alter or, or, or by an alteration, but at the same time, uh, the most important element is that like you have to address that how you are going to uh, develop the strategies. When we look at the marketing in fact uh, from a sales or from a product or from a geographical perspective then we can say that okay uh, a small business or a medium sized business can start by marketing just in the domestic market at a city level and then they can move at a state level or maybe at a regional level, like a region as in Midwest as a region, or East Coast in America as a region, or West Coast in the USA as a region. That could be that could be the levels which companies they start in Chicago and then move to Midwest, or they move to uh, Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, and then and then grow from there. And at the same time, the same market they take it to international. Uh, they sell their product within the US as a domestic market and now they are international, they are selling their product in Mexico or in South America and then they become a transnational marketing company by marketing their product into multiple continents, Europe, South America and Asia and ultimately then a company become a global organization like McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola or some other large multinational corporation like Toyota, Nissan and uh, like Siemens of Germany. There are many, many corporations, in fact, like who have achieved this uh, global status. One very important area in marketing is, which many marketers, they don't understand, is the channels of distribution. 
uh, many time in fact uh, very smart business people uh, or people with excellent marketing education when they go into their own business they make this mistake that they they develop a product very well and they want to develop selling strategies advertising strategies pricing strategies but they always overlook the channels of distribution when we look at the channels of distribution channels of distribution in the marketing world are that a product which starts from a manufacturing area go through multiple levels before it reaches in the hands of final consumer final buyer so those channels in fact uh, like i always uh, uh, call those channels like as a as a compartments of a train for example for example the first compartment could be a manufacturing compartment how the products are produced how the next compartment is the product is warehoused or they go to the distribution area and from the distribution they go to the various channels of like retailing channels or wholesaling channel or maybe supermarkets or if you look at further channels of distribution in depth is then international marketing business to business marketing and nowadays another marketing which is happening is that is like web marketing so all these uh, uh, all these um, understanding of all these compartments or the components of channels of distribution is very important and there are some uh, very important uh, compartment within that area or component we can call it and that is called the logistics understanding of logistics and transportation is very important because no marketing channel is complete without logistics that means moving product from one end to the last other end or to the last end like having a product which is in a raw material shape and moving that product into manufacturing manufacturing to warehousing warehousing to distribution distribution to retailing and then retailing has multiple aspects another area of marketing within that channel is web marketing nowadays which has become very popular but of course like you have to understand that what kind of product we are talking about as i told you in my previous lecture that the product has three categories and those categories are merchandise services and commodities so based based on the product category in fact then like you as a marketer uh, you will design uh, the channel strategy that that how how those channels are used sometimes what happens is uh, you may be a brand owner and you are using a private label manufacturer so in that situation what you need you need a warehousing or you need your own distribution center so once the product is manufactured by a private label manufacturer having your brand name that will go to your warehouse and from that warehouse then it is you as a business person who has to design and develop a strategy that how to market that product are you going to give it that product to the directly to the supermarkets to retail stores to mom and pop stores to the gas stations or how you going to market that product to the uh, industrial side of the business or the business to business marketing or how you going to market that product by taking that product in the area of international uh, outside outside the country of manufacturing so all these strategies then you have to design and develop at the same time one area which uh, many small to medium sized businesses are developing nowadays is and that is called the web marketing what they do is they bring the manufacturer product by a private label manufacturer they bring it to their distribution center and from their own distribution center then what they do is they uh, again they use the chair, like the uh, uh, what we call it logistics of the trucking companies Uh, to ship their manufactured products to their prospective prospective buyers and of course like one area uh, which becomes again a uh, very integral part of the subject and the function and the course of marketing is the promotion that how you are going to promote your product and and that 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 promotion is in fact a part of your advertising campaign and your advertising strategy that how you are going to how you are going to design and develop that strategy uh, many textbooks in fact like they talk about like uh, de designing a promotion that could be 
like uh, buy one get one free is a part of promotion or 30% off is a promotion or of course like uh, sometimes the promotion may take a strategy which is called the push and the pull product strategy when we are in the push strategy then of course you are promoting or you are pushing a product in fact at a at maybe at a, at a at a very low cost bottom price but you are selling in in bulk or you are exposing that product to many many customers on the pull strategy that does deal with the, with the psychological aspect that you are developing a concept uh, or a curiosity in the mind of a consumer and then of course you want to offer that product at a premium price uh, in, in both strategies in fact the bottom line for any organization uh, has always been like to generate the maximum revenues but as I told you before in fact uh, one thing which you need to understand is that as a marketer or as a marketing manager of any organization uh, you are not only responsible of just selling the product or advertising the product you are responsible in today's competitive world in fact or uh, is that if the product is a manufactured of a quality product quality packaging is very important and then of course like uh, the message or the label which you convey to the consumer that is also that is also very important and you have to understand that who the people are like what who is your segment in fact uh, who will be benefited by that by that particular product so if you follow like some of these basic principles and basic rules out of which as I told you the most important element uh, in this part of marketing was the channels of distribution I am very sure that uh, uh, you are never going to fail in your marketing uh, in your in your marketing effort and always remember this thing that in the channels of distribution is not just uh, one single business element but it is the it is the combination of different components and those components are like your own brand name your own manufacturing of your own or, or, a, or, a, or a private label manufacturing warehousing distribution detailing transportation advertising and one more area which I would like to talk about is also the financing aspect is too that how you're going to finance all these channel activities while you are either developing a product manufacturing a product distributing a product transporting a product or advertising a product I hope that like uh, you must have understood the basic concept of marketing in this particular section where I primarily emphasized on like not only which I will always emphasize the quality production but at the same time uh, the channels of distribution uh, if you have any question feel free to send me an email at uh, zibukhari at csu.edu which will appear on the screen very shortly thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this lecture thank you